I met a guy when I was living in that basement named Dennis Caper. God rest his soul. He had a tragic accident on the freeway and he, and he passed away some, a few summers ago. But here was a young African American man in his 30s, business owner, and multimillionaire. I was 14. I met this guy. He lived in the river, uh, riverfront apartments, condos, whatever it was. But not only did he live in the riverfront, he had the double unit, and then on top of the double unit, he had two units. So the first unit we went to, we were like, dang, this is nice. I was whispering to my friend. You know, when you get around nice stuff, you start whispering. Man, this is so nice. Lord, wow. And then he came out, he greeted us. He says, listen, guys, we got a huge job. We're going to go down to Coco Hall. His business was called Balloons Instead. Remember there was a time when you would go to a wedding, a bar mitzvah, a prom, and you would see balloons streaming from pillar to post? That was his business. He was in the balloon business. And he put me in charge of the um, helium. Shh, shh. That's all I did all day. I made $12 an hour. And I just did helium. But he had like a $20,000, $30,000, $40,000 contract with the hotel. And when he exposed me to that, I was like, for real? Balloons? Right. You lying. He said, Come here, let me show you. And he would show us like stuff he was doing. And I would just be scratching my head. I was like, I didn't know this existed. So he wasn't the only one. There are several other people and, and things I've, I've seen and people have, I've met that have exposed me to different things. So the question is, when you think about what's controlling your behavior, what are you exposing yourself to?